What's up guys, Eric Psychic here and today I've got a new type of guide video for you guys. I've been working on other projects besides just hunts these past few weeks and as I complete them I'll be turning them hopefully into guide videos for you guys. Don't worry though, I'll still be making hunting guides. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to get my latest outfit and currently one of my favorite outfits. This outfit is known as the Cave Explorer. To get the Cave Explorer outfit, you need to accumulate 100 fame points in the spike. Completing 4 tasks a day, this means you can get the outfit in a minimum of 25 days. If you don't know what the spike is, I'll give you a TLDR so I can keep this video short. There's an upper, middle, and lower spike for levels 25 to 49, 50 to 79, and 80 plus respectively. Now the cool thing about the spike is that you can get fame points no matter what level you are, but the tasks are different for each of the three tiers of the spike. In this video, I'm only going to be covering my running guide for the lower spike for players of level 80 and above. Maybe I'll do it for the other tiers someday, but I'll tell you right now that the upper spike is extremely easy to do if you're level 49 since it's only newbie undead monsters, and the middle spike is extremely challenging considering you're either a 79 mage facing crystal crushers, or a 79 knight or paladin facing earth elementals. Either way, it's a pain in the ass without a team. This guide is intended for a solo mage on a hardcore or retro open PvP world since we have similar PvP rules, but you can tweak this slightly if you're a paladin or knight, and you can shoot energy walls and bombs everywhere if you want to walk safely to the tasks if you play on an optional or open PvP world. My running method is extremely dangerous, which is why I recommend you to be at least level 200, but you probably want to be higher. I died a few times when I tried running this back at around 200, and I died one more time trying it again around 240. You've been warned. Alright, so I'm not really going to break down the supplies needed for here since this isn't a hunt. Just make sure you have a decent amount of manas, a dwarven ring with at least 15 minutes on it, 100 avalanche and 100 GFB for a mage, and your best defensive armor without sacrificing your speed. I also strongly recommend making a hotkey that is easy to hit that consists of the words high something. You'll see why in a minute. So the four tasks you need to complete are taken from NPC No Marjorie by saying keyword deliver, undercover, kill, and temperature. Deliver and Undercover involve finding random NPCs in the caves and saying hi or hi something, either to give them one of the parcels in your inventory or to learn of their report. Kill involves killing seven drill worms, and temperature is done by using the thermometer they gave you at various lava pools to find the hot spot. Once you have all the supplies and those four tasks, you're ready to go. Now you'll want to complete as much of the tasks as you can on the top floor of the lower spike because it's the easiest, but you have to venture onto the second floor at least a little to finish them up. For the top floor, the route I take starts by heading southwest to the first lava pool. You may want to put map markers on your map like on mine to remember where you have to go. Use your thermometer quickly here and keep moving. Do not ever stop. If you're too far away from the pool to get a reading, just run a wide circle to keep the monsters behind you instead of crossing through the center of the room. If this pool didn't work, don't worry about it. After that, head northwest to the first NPC and mash your high something hotkey. You'll know if you succeeded because you'll see the NPC say something as you're running away. Head northeast three rooms, and then west one room to the second lava pool if you didn't get the first one. Use your thermometer here again, and run into the next room to the west. Run a wide circle, mash your high something hotkey, and back east two rooms. Now you can either head south and then southeast to get back to the start if you got the lava pool completed, or you can run north to try one last time. I'll take the longer way in this video to show you guys. So you run north into the next room, southeast, and then northeast to the third lava pool on this floor. This room has a lot of stalagmites on the ground and a lot of monsters, so be careful. If you didn't get the lava pool again on your third try, just try again another day. You'll still get 3 points today. Head back southwest and then south, northeast 2 rooms, and then southeast. Hit this NPC with your hockey and then head south 2 more rooms to another NPC, then west 2 rooms and you're back to the start. But before heading to the next floor, kill the 3 drill worms in this last room. Alright, so for the second floor, you only have to hit three NPCs, but it's kind of a long run to one and a dangerous run to the other. So for this floor, I like to clear the room south of where you come in, and half clear the room to the southwest. This is because there are a lot of bashers here, which are probably the most dangerous monster in here. And the mushrooms take up a lot of the room, so you don't want to get trapped. Plus, you'll finish your drill worm task. After clearing the first room and partially clearing the second, run into the southwest room, mash your hotkey, and get back to the start before the first room starts respawning. You're almost done. Now you're going to run northeast two rooms, northwest, northeast again to one NPC, north to another NPC, and then all the way back. It's really not as bad as it seems. Just stay away from the bashers, keep your health up from all the ranged attacks, and run for your life. Alright, so that's all you have to do to get the four tasks done. Like I said before, sometimes you don't get the lava pool task finished, but you can just try again another day. If you're a higher level and this was easy for you, then you can run all the lava pools if you want, but it wasn't worth the risk for me. 
After 25 to 30 days of doing this, simply go to Nomander and say Worthy and then the name of the add-on with 6k in your inventory, and you'll get the Cave Explorer outfit and the Cave Completionist achievement. Finally, by keeping this video short, I know I cut out a lot of the rooms, so if you want to see what a full run looks like, just look up Eric's Psychic Spike Tasks on TibiaCast and watch my recording there. Thanks for watching guys, and enjoy the outfit if you get it.